they're not the only kids around the world that have taken an interest in the Ponte or the Ponte taken an interest in them. You have two children yes. that were, have become very interested. Oh, yes, Nee. Oh, my God. The experiences that have happened with my children. Um, it was my daughter, and she was much younger. I think she was only maybe seven, maybe ten years old. And um, I had talked to her a lot about radar, and she was, you know, and, and, and my other sons as well, and she really, really really wanted to meet Radar. And she wrote a letter to him, you know, in, you know, in her writing. Dear Radar. Yeah. Dear Radar. And she says, I want to give you my guitar and tell about what happened. Oh then. my God, Radar was floored. You sent a copy of your daughter's letter to me so that I could make sure that the pawn TV I photo, yeah, I, I took a picture of it so they could see her actual letter that she wrote. And she knew that Radar was interested in learning guitar. Mm -hmm. And she had a child-sized guitar that she That's thought would right. fit him, would fit him yes. better than an adult-sized guitar so that he had something smaller to learn on. Mm -hmm. And this letter that she wrote essentially was Radar I'm going to give you, I would like to give you my guitar because I think it will be easier for you to play this size. I hope you have fun learning to play the guitar and, and come visit come me. Come please visit me. Yeah, please come see me. When the, the entire staff realized that there was an earth child presenting a gift of culture she didn't know that's what she was doing, but that's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. She was presenting a gift of music, of a different culture's physical instrument, a guitar, made on earth, specifically to Radar to assist him. That was a first. No other earth human in North America that they knew of had ever done that. Wow. Ever. I didn't realize it was and that, so that important. It, it, oh, gee. Uh, when I read it to whoever was at the st on the desk at the time, and I think it was probably Trudy, she just almost teared up and melted. Oh! And so she passed the word on immediately to Tilcom, to me, and the rest of the staff. And every reaction was, oh! And so it was one of those moments where the entire staff of the Sandia Mountain Information Station suddenly had a thought that maybe Earth's official first contact might work. Maybe it's not our generation. Maybe it's the kids, our kids, that will be the greeters, the welcomers, the first ambassadors. If that's the case, I am totally okay with that. And for the people that have kids that are having interactions all over the world, please, if, if you're the parent of those kids, talk to them about the Ponte. Tell them about the Ponte. Let them know that the Ponte are not gods. They don't want to be treated as higher and mightier. No. They're just your cousins and it, that live 40 light years away and for them that's not a huge distance. It's like the backyard fence. So get to know them, research about them, learn about them, ask other contactees questions. The reason why they're cousins is because we're not that far related genetically. No. And they greet other star nations the same way. They call them cousins. We are, if we think that we are a purebred... <laughs> oh no, that's a whole discussion on its own.